Hey everybody, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I wanted to show you guys how to retarget your animations purchased from the motion library onto your custom characters. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you see here, we do already have our um, character animated using a motion library animation. And the reason why I want to show you guys specifically how to retarget animations on your custom characters is because the animations within the motion library all come within a specific standard size and not everybody's characters are gonna fit that same mold and so it's important to know how to retarget um, so that you don't end up with um, some some slight sliding issues or things like that you can even notice um, we haven't retargeted this character properly yet but you can notice within this animation there are slight um, sliding within the feet and that's because um, the proportions of the character don't necessarily match up the proportions of the um, animation skeleton. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it properly um, so that the animation looks great. So first, what, what I wanted to show you is um, the motion library, just to see how um, where we got the animation. So um, once you've installed the motion library directly from the asset store, it'll be listed under window and uh, you can open this window and you'll be taken directly inside of the motion library. And here's our motion library where you can see a list of all the different um, animations that we hold. And so um, I just searched dance and you'll see uh, we have this dancing animation here. And I just downloaded it and when I download it, it automatically gets uh, imported into our motion library folder down here. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this character and uh, the animation. I'm gonna use Maya to show you guys how to uh, retarget um, in there. So let's jump over there. All right, so here we are in Maya. Um, first things first is we've gotta go ahead and import our character. So let's go up to File, Import, and then we're gonna go ahead and find our character, the mime character, and then we're gonna import this FBX. All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this warnings and errors because it doesn't really mean much. Um, but here's our character, and we can go ahead and open our outliner just so we can see what was imported in. And go to panel, and then outliner. And let me switch this back to perspective. Um, and then you'll see here, this is everything that was imported in. Um, just for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna uh, delete a couple of things, just things that we don't need. Uh, for instance, all of these blend shapes we're not going to use, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete them just for the sake of the, this tutorial. Um, and then also for the skeleton, um, we're going to go ahead and just we're going to create our own skeleton within Maya um, that should work uh, with retargeting um, that specific animation better. So we're just going to go ahead and delete this, and all we're left with is the mesh. And if you want to go ahead and make sure that we can see this a bit better, we can go up to Windows, Rendering. Uh, editors and then hypershade and then for all of our materials we're just going to turn down the reflectivity okay so that's a bit better so now let's go ahead and import our animation so if we go up to file import and then we're going to find our animation from the motion library which is right here we're going to import that fbx and now it's here listed as a reference, um, but you can see the skeleton um, within that reference. And we can go ahead and move this over to the side so we can see a bit better. And then if we go ahead and uh, scrub through our timeline, you can see that the animation now starts playing. So what we want to do is get this animation on our character um, so that it's uh, retargeted properly. So in order to start that process what we need to do is create a character definition for our animation so what we want to do now is uh, click on windows go to animation editors and then go down to human IK and then inside of this window we can go and click create character definition and then you'll see this window pop up and so what we're gonna do now is essentially uh, define all of the joints on our animation skeleton uh, within this window so if you hover your mouse over this, you'll see all of the different names of the, um, the bones that we have that need to be defined. Um, and if we go ahead and click on a particular joint here, 
uh, you'll notice right here where it says scene selection we've now selected the left toe base and so we have to go ahead and assign it in here so the left toe base in here is uh, located if you click on this arrow and this is the left toe base right here so you just want to right click and assign selected bone and when it's green that means it's uh, it's been assigned properly and then to go back click on this arrow and then we're just going to essentially do this for all of the joints and one thing to note when we go ahead and uh, do it for one side it'll automatically mirror on the other side so you only need to do this on one side of the body so now we have our left leg we're just going to right click and assign selected bone so we're just going to go ahead and do this for the rest of the jo joints All right, now that everything has been defined, uh, what we can do next is just close out of this window. And uh, now what we wanna do is create a, um, a control rig for our character. So in order to do that, we wanna go ahead and uh, we're gonna highlight our character. And then we're gonna go up to Windows, Animation Editors, and Quick Rig. And then inside of here, um, we have two different options. We can either auto rig and it'll just create an, uh, a rig um, to the best of its abilities. Or we can um, have a bit more um, uh, control over it and uh, click on step by step. And which is this is what we're going to go ahead and do, um, just so that we can make sure that we create a proper rig for a character. So um, once you click step by step, you're going to need to define, or you're going to have to just click um, the plus button to create a new character. And so we're going to do that. And then we're going to have to define, uh, you know, the geometry of this so in order to do that you just make sure that your character is highlighted and then you click the plus button and so it's going to be added here our mesh and now what we want to do is create guides um, which will act as our joints for our um, rig so we click on create slash update and then you see now we have these little um, guides that uh, will basically tell us where all of the main joints will be and we can go ahead and move these, um, you know, so that we can make sure that they're in proper locations. Uh, like this, for instance, we're going to move this over um, closer to the elbow. And if you move one thing on the, on one side, it's not going to mirror on the other side. Um, in order to do that, though, um, you, all you need to do is press this these two buttons right here. So since we've moved something on our right side, we want to make sure it transfers over to the left side. So we're going to go ahead and click this button. And so now when we move over here, it's now in the same position on the opposite side. And so we're just going to go ahead and make sure that um, these joints are put in places where um, it'll really, um, you know, drive the, the body if we have animations on it and it won't like distort any of the mesh. All right, so that's pretty good for now. And uh, so once you've got your guides all set in place, uh, the next thing that we can do is uh, create the skeleton. So under step four, we're gonna click create. And now it's created the skeleton. Um, and then our final step is to skin it. Um, and you just do that by clicking this create button down here. And now it's skinned and so when you move uh, your controls it'll move your character all right so now we can go ahead and close out of this and then in our human IK uh, window what we want to do now is basically change the source of our quick rig character so this is our quick rig character since we use the quick rig um, feature on him um, and so if we change the source from control rig to character one, which is actually the character this what we defined So this is character one So if we change um, we Keep the character quick rig character and then source we change this to character one You'll see him now jump over here and uh, If we close out of this window, you'll see Now when we scrub the timeline He's moving with the animation, which is perfect. It's, it's exactly what we wanted to happen and so now what we need to do is um, here I can go ahead and hide this if I click on our reference and then do control H I can hide that just so I can get a better view of our character 
Um, but now what we want to do is make sure that this animation uh, will be exported out when we want to move it back into Unity. And in order to do that, you have to bake it. So what we'll do is uh, we'll reopen our um, Human IK window. If we go back to Windows, Animation Editors, and Human IK. And what we want to do now is just uh, make sure to bake it. So we click on this button right here, and we go down to Bake, and then we're going to Bake to Skeleton. And so you'll see the animation play. And uh, once it's done, you'll see down here, uh, we have all of the keyframes of the animation. And so it's now um, baked directly onto our skeleton, which is awesome. And so now what we can do is export this out and um, import it back into Unity. So in order to do that, we wanna make sure that we highlight both the mesh and our um, quick rig character reference. And we're gonna go ahead and go to file export selection and then we're just gonna go back to that folder right here the mime character and we're just gonna go ahead and rename this to mime underscore baked animation and this is the folder that is actually um, within our uh, that, that houses our, our unity project so it'll just import directly into our unity project um, once this gets exported so we'll go ahead and click this and then once it's exported, we can jump back over to Unity and um, test it out. All right, so we're back in Unity, and um, now you see right here under our Mime character folder, we have our Mime baked animation here. And it has um, what we just exported out from, from Maya. Um, we can go ahead and add the materials on the character if we want. We can just go ahead and um, we'll just drag and drop them from here directly into here. And then we can hit apply and then uh, what, what we can do is uh, we can drag and drop our character directly into the scene and um, we'll go ahead and place them right next to our other character and then what we want to do is uh, create a an animator controller for this uh, baked character so in order to do that we can just click right click on our assets folder go to create and then go down to animator controller and then we'll name this mine 2 and then we'll click on this inside of the hierarchy and then we'll drag and drop this within the controller of our animator and then now what we want to do is um, add our baked animation inside of our animator window so if we go back to our FBX here and expand it out you'll see we have a clip we can drag and drop this right into here and if you don't have this window open you can go ahead and, and open it by clicking window animation animator and so now that we have our clip there we can go ahead and now press the play button and now you'll see both of our characters are animated and uh, you, you can even notice if you take a look at the feet there's less sliding in the right one versus the left one um, the right one is the one that we exported from Maya, and the left one is the one that we just um, uh, attached the animation directly from the motion library without doing anything. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys are able to do with uh, the motion library.